Hello and welcome to your next theory lesson. We are now starting the next course and it's Celebrate Theory, Royal Conservatory of Music, and it's the level three book. Now, we are not gonna go through unit one today. Unit one is a complete review from our previous course in level two. Um, you're gonna be reviewing key signatures, um, degrees of the scale, writing major and minor keys. Um, it's also going through triads. Uh, major and minor triads and um, intervals, whether they're harmonic or melodic intervals, and going through notes and rest values. I have a complete series of videos covering all those topics from before, and I do recommend if you don't remember everything from there or you run into problems with this unit one, please go back to unit two and review those resources there for you. Um, today we're starting unit two. And unit two starts with pitch and notation. And more specifically, we're working on enharmonic equivalence. So basically that is two notes on a keyboard that have two, uh, one note on a keyboard that has two different note names assigned to it. So I'm just gonna open up a different program here and um, share my screen with you. I'm going to the crescendo crescendo writing program. So if I was to put, let's say you were to see a G, and I'm going to make it a G flat, an enharmonic equivalent note would be an F sharp. Now looking at this written, you'd say they, they're different note, notes completely. But when you actually play them on a keyboard, these two notes are the same note. So I'm going to share a different screen with you just so you get an idea of the visual on directly on the keyboard. Um, so I'm going to take you to my whiteboard and show you exactly where they look like on the keyboard. So if I had this is G and this is F and you have to excuse me, I'm writing with my mouse. The enharmonic equivalent note is going to be right here, the F sharp, which is that black note there. F sharp, the enharmonic equivalent is a G flat. We refer to that black note by two different note names. Let's do another one. If we are working with a C and a D, we're gonna talk about that black note. It's either called a C sharp or the enharmonic equivalent would be the D flat. I'm just going to slide this over so I can delete this. Now, in order to find enharmonic equivalence, you do have to have an understanding of sharps and flats. Sharps always move to the right side of the note. So this black key would be the F sharp. If we have an A here and we want an A sharp, you go directly to the right, and that would be A sharp. For the C, directly to the right of it is a C sharp. We do have, some students have trouble when you have two white notes. Now, what if you were trying to find an E sharp? We still move directly to the right of the note. So an E sharp would be an F. And if we had, I'm just gonna delete some of this, give me a little bit more keyboard space. If I was looking for a B sharp, because there is no black, Note between the B and the C. B sharp would move directly to the right by semitone, and B sharp is actually the note C. The same thing works for flats. If I was looking for a C flat, flats go directly to the left of a note. So C flat would actually be the note B. Flats move to the left. So if I was looking for an A flat, here's an A. I would move directly to the left, and that note would be my A flat. The enharmonic equivalent of that A flat would be a G sharp. Perfect. So that's what they're going to be asking you to do in your next theory assignments um, on page 12. It's unit two. They've given you an assortment of notes and you have to find their enharmonic equivalent. Um, I actually just wanna go back to Crescendo one more time 
just to notate some of those harder ones. For instance, if you had an E and um, we need an enharmonic equivalent, I'm gonna draw an F there, but with this E, if I sharped it, then the E going to the F, that would be an enharmonic equivalent. If I had a C flat and they want me to write the enharmonic equivalent below the C flat, I would simply write in the letter B. C flat and B are the same note on the keyboard. So when you're looking for enharmonic equivalents, you're looking for two notes that, two different note names that are the same note on a keyboard. Um, and I think that should tide you over all the way through page 14. And then at the next video lesson, we're gonna be talking about trans, um, transposition octave range transposition, an octave higher, an octave lower. So please join me for that next video. See you then. Thanks.